So in today's video, I'm going to be working on this little HP Slimline desktop and the client says it's running very slow with about six W's. She says other screens will pop up a lot. It sits and thinks and won't open programs often. Let's get to work. What I want to do is check device manager and see what kind of hardware I'm dealing with. So I have a dual core processor, 2.6 gigahertz with four gigs of RAM. It does have a 64-bit operating system, so that'll make it a little faster, but not a lot. First thing I want to do is I want to look at the startup items, and I can go under Task Manager to do that, and just see what is loading when the machine starts up. And I generally try to disable everything. So I'm going to go here under Settings and go under Apps. The client usually has a pretty good idea when the problem started, so I like to look at the apps by install date. That kind of points me in the right direction sometimes. If I go in there and 10 days ago, there's a new program that I'm not familiar with and the client says, yeah, it's been going on for about a week or 10 days, that usually is a good clue. So looking here through the installations, I don't see anything that is malicious. Uh, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, uh, Microsoft Office. I don't really see anything thing as far as programs other than web root which I know that's not the problem but I'm going to remove it anyway because I'm going to replace it with the Avast and of course web root wants to be difficult but that's how it's designed so a bug can't easily go in and remove it or disable it we're gonna go ahead and do that the other thing that I'm going to do because she specifically mentioned the computer was slow, is I want to run a defragmentation through this program called Defragler. Again, free program. You can get it from Piriform's website. Piriform is the company that makes CCleaner, which is another program I'm going to install on here as well. You're always gonna wanna try to clean all the crap off the computer, which is where the CCleaner comes from. You're going to want to run a malware scan. You're going to want to have a current antivirus program, in this case, Avast. You know, there's just a handful of other things. Now, if it comes to actual virus removal, there's other programs um, that I use. Rkill right here specifically, um, it is a program that kills any active processes, which I like. That's usually a good indicator um, that you've got a bug is when Rkill can clear a whole bunch of stuff off of there. So I run that. Uh, I've got another couple programs that I use called Rogue Killer, um, Hitman Pro, uh, and depending on the level of infection, it can just get worse from there. Um, so as you can see, I've got the malware bytes installed. Uh, I've got it updated. I'm going to go ahead and start the scan. Uh, I've got the defragler installed here. And what this does is it basically checks the system to see how fragmented the hard drive is. And that will a lot of times give you a clue as to where the problem is. If it's a highly fragmented drive and the client complains that when they click on stuff, it seems like it takes forever, that's a lot of times where the problem is. So it's usually, I'm, I, I'm attacking it on multiple fronts. First of all, if it's a bug, malware bytes, I'm scanning for that. If it's a fragmented drive, I'm scanning for that. And then while that's going on, I'm gonna also open the CCleaner that I downloaded. The CCleaner is scanning. The defragler is finished and it shows 15% fragmentation, which is yeah, not ridiculously high, but pretty high. I mean, that's, I usually try to keep my fragmentation less than, you know, five, 10%. 15% is on a fast machine is probably no big deal. On an older machine, it's a big deal. So I'm just going to kick off the defragmentation by clicking on the defrag button. Now that's being turned loose. Now I can go back and check on the malware bytes, still showing clean, no infections so far. So now the next thing up is the C cleaner and the results of the scan. Okay, so the CCleaner's analysis is complete. Uh, about 1.8 gigs worth of crap to remove, including temporary files and all of those other things. And these are all things that just clutter up the computer. It doesn't delete anything, doesn't change your history or bookmarks or favorites or anything like that. It's completely harmless to the user. So once the analysis is complete, I run the cleaner and just say, go ahead and yes, delete. I've 
run that program a thousand times and told it to delete every time and it has never once screwed up a computer so always tell it to go ahead and delete and then just let the system do its work this window back here it's the defragler it's literally running in the background i won't have to look at it again until it is completely done and considering it's 15 percent fragmented it's probably going to take a while so i'm just going to kind of ignore that one my focus right now is on malware bytes checking for bugs and the c cleaner cleaning the junk if you recall i have removed startup items from the taskbar basically turned off everything running at startup so all that other stuff the citrix and all that other stuff that all that crap it doesn't need to load every time the computer starts and i tell people all the time is unless you are going to use the program every single time you sit down don't run it at startup because all it does is it slows your computer down and if you want to click on citrix then open citrix if you want to click on open office or microsoft office or chrome or whatever do it when you need to don't just have it run in the uh, automatically at startup because it's just going to slow your computer down i disable pretty much anything that isn't connected to windows hardware so if it's a sound driver i want that to run at startup so i leave that enabled but skype no need for it and windows security which thankfully they were smart enough to turn off windows defender uh, or maybe webroot did that i'm not sure anything that is a program like c cleaner citrix office onedrive skype anything that's a program i turn it off i don't want it running because when i turn that computer back on i want that thing to load as fast as possible so good news here uh malware bytes found no bugs so i'm happy about that so i'm going to close that the avast is still installing in the background the defrag is still running oh now it's at 17 percent. so it has actually found more fragmentation as it goes so I'm just going to literally leave that running as long as it takes. And I'll just move this into a position here where I can see the defrag window behind it where it says 17%. So I don't even have to touch anything. So I can just look at it and see, okay, now it's 12%, now it's 9%, now it's 6%. And then it'll say defragmentation finished. Then I know I can close that window also. Now I'm going to check for browser extensions because that's also a source of pop-ups. Sometimes browsers can have extensions loading where people say, well, you know, I'm getting pop-ups or my computer's slow. What they really mean is when I go to my XYZ website, it's slow. So I'm gonna check the web browser. So I'm opening Chrome here. Um, all the standard extensions, Docs, Sheets, Slides, which are all part of uh, the Google integration here and Google Docs don't see anything uh, as far as extensions go uh, that are causing a problem but it looks good there I'm gonna check the edge browser in just a second so anyway so the C cleaner is finished I'm gonna go over here to the registry and have it scan for registry issues those are the two things I always do the custom clean which cleans all the plaque and the registry which basically gets rid of all the registry uh, unnecessary junk you know that could be stuff that was installed 10 years ago and there's registry items in there um, that are pointing to programs that don't even exist anymore um, so this registry is every you know how Windows runs everything is run off the right it's an instruction manual for Windows everything you do is controlled by a setting inside the registry what you want is your registry to run as clean as possible now here it's run it's found 209 excessive registry entries so i'm just going to review the issues say yes to save i always do this part um, just save a backup copy of the registry and then go ahead and tell it to fix all the issues doesn't hurt anything it just deletes stuff that is no longer needed and then i close the c cleaner so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open the antivirus. I always do a two-pronged approach. I do the malware bytes free uh, and the Avast free. The last thing I'm going to do here, uh, I've got everything else done. C cleaner's done. Um, the Avast and malware bytes is installed. The defragler is defragling. And I've already checked Google Chrome for bad extensions. Now the last thing I want to do is verify Microsoft Edge to see if there are any browser extensions that are loading. Now, in this case, no extensions installed. Looks to be good, no pop-ups. So we're gonna call that fixed. Only other thing that I like to do, 
you know, and I'm going to wait until the defragmentation is done. But I always want to restart the computer and just to kind of see, based on how it was running before, if it's running any better. The defragmentation will make a big difference, for sure. One last thing that I do on machines now, and a buddy of mine, uh, Nico, over at uh, Nico Knows Tech, told me about this, and uh, I absolutely, I'm in love with it. Um, it's a program called Tron, and it is fantastic. This program that I found, Tron, it literally just goes and digs and digs and digs and finds stuff that just your normal repair tools won't. I absolutely love it. It's a fantastic program, and I highly recommend it. And I'll put a link where you can go download it in the description for you. But what I do is I run... Once I'm confident that I've gotten the, you know, everything cleaned up, um, I'll run the Tron script. This particular situation, there wasn't bugs, malware, viruses, anything like that. Pretty clean system, just a little older. If it had bugs on it, I would have run R-Kill to stop active processes. I would have run malware bytes. I would have run an Avast boot scan. Then I would have run a program called Rogue Killer, uh, Hitman Pro, TDSS, uh, Rootkit Scanner. I mean, there's a bunch of different programs that I would run um, if I had found evidence of malware or virus infection. I hadn't find any of that. I just basically found a system that's a little older with a bunch of plaque on it. Um, and I'm just giving it the full once over. The defragmentation is really probably the biggest killer. It's nearly 20%. So nearly one out of every five files is scattered or in a place where it doesn't need to be. So that's probably the majority of the issue. Uh, not necessary on this one. This one is actually more just about how to take a slower computer and speed it up, uh, removing starting up, startup items, defragmenting, cleaning up all the plaque, removing unnecessary programs, uh, all things like that. Now you could add memory for sure. It's only got four gigabytes of memory. You could add more memory that would speed it up. Defrag is completed and I've restarted the computer. And the last thing I want to do is run this Tron script. It's amazing. It finds all kinds of stuff. It runs its own defrag. It runs malware cleaner, virus scan. It does does everything it's kind of like the most multi-purpose tool um, you can find it checks your your hard disks to uh, make sure that there's no issues there um, it's just a great program so I'm gonna start running that and turn it loose anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours it will be done okay so it is probably been about 12 hours and the Tron script is finished it is literally run through every imaginable test, including disk checks, virus scans, defragment. It has literally gone and cleaned every possible inch of this machine. And so now we have got a good, solid, fast working machine once again. We've cleaned up all the add-ons, the extensions, the plugins. Everything is running absolutely as fast as humanly possible. And we're going to call this machine clean and ready to deliver to the client.